friends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. So 7-Eleven recently launched their own makeup line called Simply Me Beauty and nothing in that line costs over 5 US dollars. Now this is not available in Singapore so we got it from Afrof. Afrof is an app where you can get people who are travelling overseas to help you buy stuff that's not available in your home country. This is the creme lip gloss in the colour Guava and this is supposed to give your lips a spa worthy treatment with this luxuriously creamy lip gloss. Alright, the packaging is not much to shout about. <laughs> but you know what? This is US $2.99. So yeah, I, I kind of get it. It doesn't look super luxe, but it doesn't look super cheap either. It's a really small applicator, which I think is quite nice. Wow. Mmm. This is really quite good. I'm so impressed right now. Like, this colour is so pretty and it goes on really smoothly. Okay, I wouldn't say spa worthy, but it definitely leaves my lips feeling very hydrated and very well coated. For a sheer lip gloss, this colour comes out really nicely. I thought the small applicator was cute, but it's a bit irritating because I have to go back quite a few times. But I think it'd be really useful for, say, a darker colour because it'll help you get into the corners really well. Like, the applicator is like a hard Q-tip kind of feeling. I mean, there's a bit of like tackiness to it, but it's not super, super sticky. Like, it would still like catch a little bit, but it wouldn't like drag it off your lips and onto your face. $2.99 US? This is really good. The only thing I don't like about this is the box. Because it's really not the most inspiring box. But apart from that, I would give this a 9 out of 10. Yeah. I wouldn't mind it if there was a bit more of that gloss, but you know what? I'm really happy with it as it is also. This is the cream lipstick in wine. So this is supposed to be ultra soft and nourishing and it provides a superior smooth finish and rich vibrant colour. This one actually feels a lot lighter than the other lipstick. Actually, the packaging on this feels a bit cheap. This one, the colour is completely <laughs> different. I mean, it's just wine, but this looks more like a brown nude kind of colour. So there's another colour inside, so it's kind of like three different colours going on. Okay, let's swatch this. Are we prepared for the fourth colour? Oh, okay, okay. So when you swatch it, it kind of looks about the same. Yeah, I wouldn't describe this as a wine colour. It's really more of like a brownish pink red kind of colour. Oh, that smells weird. Okay, this smells like, like a crayon. Mm, that does not smell pleasant at all. Okay, let's try this. Oh, but I will say this, it's very easy to apply. It's really very creamy. And I really like this colour. <laughs> this colour is really nice. I would say it's quite an ordinary kind of lipstick, but the great thing is that it's not drying at all. Like, it's really quite creamy, which is very surprising. However, the... It smells really weird. It really smells like I've got crayon on my lips. As I'm applying it, I'm like, mm, that does not smell good. It smells like a plastic crayon. Okay, so I would give the shade like an 8 out of 10. I would give the texture also like an 8 out of 10, but the smell, I'm like minus 4. <laughs> so I would minus some points on that. So I would give this... Okay, I'll at least give it a pass. You know, a, a 5. I'll give this a 5 out of 10, but the smell is really... If smells bother you, don't bother with this lipstick because it's just not worth it. Alright, so these are the fake eyelashes from 7-Eleven and they cost $4.99 US which actually, to me, that is not cheap because I mean you could get like a whole box of 10 for about the same price in like places like Miniso. Maybe the quality is very different, let's check this out. The way that it curves is very natural and it's not like hard at all. I normally don't use the glue from these like eyelash things, but let's just try it out. Is there glue in here at all? <laughs> Where's the glue? I squeezed out most of it and nothing's coming out. There is no glue. They just said an empty bottle. Oh, there we go. See, this is why I don't rely on the glue in here. Because sometimes it's all dried out or there is none inside. So look at this tube. Like, there's barely anything in there. The glue is just like, whoa. Like, it won't stick. So I'm gonna try it again with my own. It's very comfortable. 
like the thread is super thin so it's just like sitting right on my lash line very easy to manipulate to kind of like go according to the shape of my eyes so that was quite impressive I would say it's pretty good actually so I would give this like a, an 8 out of 10 okay so these lashes are not bad but for that price point I think that you can get the same or better quality lashes for less so with that in mind I would then bring down the rating to like a 7 or a 6 six and a half. because I do think they're kind of expensive for what they are This is the Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Collection in Aubergine The packaging does feel a bit like light and like not so luxe but then again this is like US $4.99 so that's alright So I've removed just one side so I'm going to try these eyeshadows on my right eye I'm gonna take the light colour So I'm gonna sweep it all over my lid I can't really see any colour, it's like very light Okay, so let's try now with the shimmery colour in the front So it's a bit more obvious I guess But there's still the light colours are really quite, like really light Okay, so now I'm gonna try with the red This one also I find it really quite light I'm gonna try it now with the brown And hopefully that's a bit darker Okay, I guess this is better. Okay, so this is the second layer of colour. Okay, so now I'll try the purple on the bottom. I've tried the eyeshadow with a bunch of different brushes, but the shimmer's just not very pigmented. The colour payoff is not very happening. Even for the price point, I don't really think it's kind of worth it, actually. So I would give this like a 3 out of 10. Yeah, that's all. This is the BB Cream and the colour is light. It only comes in three shades, which is uh, light, medium and dark. It's got a floral sunscreen smell. Oh, it's really stodgy. It's got a very sunscreeny texture. Quite thick and almost a little bit chalky. So I've removed all of my foundation. Now I'm going to try the BB Cream on the left side of the face and see how it goes. Oh, this is not easy to spread at all. It kind of feels like I'm dragging it along, you know? You see, it's quite hard to get like an even spread. It doesn't really blend well. So BB creams are generally not really high coverage products. But this one is supposed to have buildable coverage. So I'm going to see how buildable it is. So I actually think it's pretty good. Like, because you see, I was trying to like also push a bit more cover like my pimple as a concealer. But and it managed to do a pretty decent job for a... Uh, I feel like it's there's like a film over my face or something but a very very thin film but a film nonetheless but the finish on this is really quite pretty do you see like there's a bit of a sheen I felt that the application was a little bit like dragging out like thin drying glue across my face that's kind of how I felt like I don't foresee myself wanting to put this on my face every day so I would give this like maybe a 5 out of 10 because the finish is quite nice and it is buildable but it's kind of like mm, not very sure so I'm undecided 5 out of 10 this is a coral colour blush the more I look at it the more I feel like it's very MAC inspired so inside we have a duo this is kind of like a brownish red blush which I think you could also maybe use a little bit as like a contour and then we have a beautiful coral over here so I'm gonna try the coral first so that's the coral, now I'm going to try the darker one on the other side. I find that the colours, they are nice. It's like a clean, solid colour. It's alright. Like, it's an okay blush. Like, there's nothing to love or not like about it. So I would give this like a 7 out of 10. It's a very good, basic, no frills kind of blusher. That is $2.99 for two colours. So, it's like $1.50 per colour. This is Matte and Shimmer Bronzer. So you can use this for bronzing, you can also use it for contouring, and one side is matte, one side is shimmery. Ooh! I did not realise it. It comes with like a brush. That means the other one also had a brush inside. Oh my god! Like extra 10 points. Inside, we have a little brush and a mirror. Okay, let me just check the blush to see if it also has a brush, yes, and a mirror. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me so happy. But because of this discovery, I am adding half a point to the blush. Okay, so I'm going to try the shimmer one. It 
So the shimmer one actually works quite nicely as a light bronzer. I don't use bronzer, bronzer per se, but if my foundation goes too light, sometimes I use bronzer to save my whole face instead of redoing everything. So this could be a nice option for it because it does give a pretty healthy glow. Because at first we were putting, we were like, oh, uh, is there anything there? But I think it's, it's nice because it's natural. It leaves behind a little bit of a sparkle, which is good. So actually I do quite like that. Okay, let me try with the darker colour and I'll use that as a contour. It doesn't sit into the skin as well. Like it blends, but there's something about the colour and the finish that keeps it quite separate from the foundation. I don't know how to explain, but it kind of looks like maybe like a chalk, right? And then you kind of put it on and you try and blend it in like even if the edges are like blended, like it doesn't quite meld into the skin. Whereas the shimmery part, I actually really quite like that. Because it really just like settles into the skin very nicely. And you can barely tell it's there. And you see, my face actually does look more like uh, sun-kissed. So, oh, this is a tough one. Because I like the shimmery part. I really quite do not like the matte part. Oh, that's really hard because I would give the shimmery one actually an 8 out of 10 because it's like a dollar fifty if you think about it, right? And I would give the matte one like a 3. Overall, this gets a 5.5. Although, I would also say that at that price point, it's... I mean, I wouldn't mind buying it just for the shimmery side. And then maybe I can use the matte side as an eyeshadow. Right? So... I would say, yeah, I would give this like a 7.5 out of 10. <laughs> and just ignore the matte side. Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. If you want to find out more about the products, the links are in the video description down below or you can also go to our Facebook page. And if you haven't done so already, go and download the Click Network app because you can watch the videos before they go onto YouTube. Yes, yes. Okay, so next time, go be beautiful. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Ding, 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 ding.